up 1300 all set to go stand by off and uh, racing Temple Man just a touch slow. The Enchantress went back at the start. Bevel also went back and Indriel began like a bullet and flashed straight to the lead. Gets there from Nashville. Cat Song of War working forward. Then came Grey Enigma. Well placed early on from Kilorglan. A further two lengths to Temple Man. Now mustering speed through on the inside of Hilbert. Genuine pace up in front. Three lengths back to Invisible Pro being scrubbed along early on. All square settle well back with Bevel and two and a half to the Enchantress. Last of all inside the 800 and it's out in front here Indriel shows the way by a length over on the outside song of war then came Kill Auckland it is up third Nashville Cat it is fourth on the inside Grey Enigma getting every chance Hilbert now working around the outside a break of two lengths to Temple Man from Bevel all square visible pro the Enchantress last around the corner inside the 400 and it's uh, out in front Indriel shows the way by that length and a half from uh, Nashville Cat over on the outside song of war Kill Auckland, Grey Enigma. It is uh, gone back to the inside. Hilbert all square, getting into the open. 200 to go. Indriel out in front. Leads by a length and a half. Nashville Cat. Grey Enigma now coming through. Parnham sending it with a run. The Grey. A brilliant ride from Parnham. And Grey Enigma wins it. Out wide. Bevel gets up for second. Tight third. Join Hilbert. Probably just got it in front of all square. And uh, Indriel on the inside. They were followed then back behind them by Song of War. Temple Man was over on the inside. Invisible Pro. Never travelled that well. And uh, Kill Auckland is back at the rear. Brilliant ride there from Chris Parnham on Grey Enigma. Had a lovely run in transit. He switched it to the inside. Then able to get it out there in the home straight. Went past them quickly. And the money was spot on the mark there. And Grey Enigma has won. Second goes to number four, Bevel, ridden by Kate Whitten, running home strongly. Third goes to number three, Hilbert, for Alan Kennedy. Two, four, and three. Two, four, and three. After race number six on the program, the time is uh, 117.95. And uh, fourth goes to uh, Indriel, who set the speed there out in front for Lisa Staples. Two, four, three, and uh, ten. But uh, Chris Barnum coming to the goal fields and uh, he's done the job here this afternoon on Grey Enigma who's trained by his father and that's his ninth win from 78 starts today for Grey Enigma. He's an eight-year-old Grey Gelding but he's a decoy at a break the code as owned by MJ Duthy, trained by Neville Parnham and uh, written by Chris Parnham. Second goes to number four, Bevel, good run, trained by Neil Della, Kate Whitten in the saddle. Third, Hilbert, trained by Peter Fernie, Alan Kennedy. And uh, fourth in there, number 10, Indriel Lisa Staples. 117.95, the overall time there. A grey enigma who was very well thought of in the market. Now, spot on the mark, has proved too smart for them. 2 4 3 10. And yeah, I think down the line they are thinking sort of carnival time maybe. Yeah, it's certainly a very, very good placement. He's been racing in 64 plus metro races. He gets in here at a country 58. Look, is this boy, is he coming towards the end of his career? Is he in the twilight and how much longer do you think he's got in the stable? Yeah, it's always a question of form. Um, as long as they're paying their way and they're sort of enjoying it, there's, they can stay as long as they like. But um, yeah, like I said before, his runs have been good. Uh, he's just had some terrible runs where just nothing's gone his way. And you're a trainer in your own right. Can you push the punters at home into one from your stable that they can follow in the next month or so? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. Well, maybe we can uh, find one maybe a little bit further down the line. Thanks, Steph. Uh, cheers, thank you. It's Steph Vahala, who's brought uh, Neville Parnham's horses up today, and Grey Enigma gets the money for Chris Parnham, as mentioned by Dave Sheehan. Uh, quickly after the race, it was a wonderful ride, and Steph Vahala summed it up perfectly. He's not your average rider. He doesn't come to Kalgoorlie very often, Chris Parnham. He's a city boy. He's a metro boy, but he does come every now and then, especially when his dad brings a team. They brought five or six here today, and uh, they've got the chockies there. We'll grab Chris on his way back towards the scales very, very very quickly. Chris, nervous moments in the home straight? A little bit, yeah. Um, he took a while to get out, but once he did, um, he put him away pretty nicely as we thought he would drop in class. He certainly sprung the gates quite well today. Did you expect to be that close to the speed? Um, I thought I might have been a pair further back, but um, I was happy to sort of be where I was in the run, but I just had to, had to negotiate a way path through the field and 
Um, once he got, got the gaps, he was too good. If he heads back to Belmont Park, can he pick up another Saturday before he retires? Oh, he can. Everything, everything needs to go his way, though. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. There's Chris Parnham with the win of Grey Enigma. Two, four, three and ten the numbers here after the running of race number six at Kalgoorlie. Our Sky Thoroughbred Central viewers are off now to race number six at Singapore.